welcome back to my channel about fashion industry. My name is Irina, I live in Los Angeles and I work as a technical designer for fashion industry. In my previous video I was talking about introduction to technical design and if you didn't watch that video I would highly recommend to watch it first before you watch this one. In today's video I'm going to talk about main processes of technical design and believe me I didn't learn it from school, I learned it on my job. So if you learn anything new today, please give me a thumb up. Main role of a technical designer is to make sure that the style is producible and meets the quality standards of the company. The whole process of developing a clothing line and also uh, manufacturing it before it ships to the customer, it usually takes about one year, depending on the company. Different companies have different time calendar but usually one year and that one year is divided by uh, one event that's called a wholesale market week and it's divided into two phases so phase number one is pre-production phase or you can call it product development phase and phase number two is production phase so pre-production is developing uh, styles before they go to the market week and production phase is when the wholesale orders are placed and then now the company and the factories are preparing for production, then they're producing the style and the style ships to the customer. So technical designer work on both phases, but more on product development tasks. Normally ready to wear clothing line has four different seasons per year. Spring, summer, pre-fall, and fall. And at some point, a uh, technical designer works on four overlapping seasons at the same time. The pre-production phase for technical designer starts when he creates initial specs for the style that was passed to him from a designer. The fit and tension should be communicated upfront and discussed with the designer. And the initial specs are usually taken from the existing blocks if the company has them. And we'll talk about it later, the importance of the, having a, a, blocks, a block library. Also, the specs can be taken from uh, existing styles that already were produced in previous season. And sometimes you can just shop your own closet or buy um, reference samples from different brands and reference the specs from, from uh, the samples. So throughout that one year of developing and producing a line, a technical designer works with uh, four or five type of samples. And I'm going to talk about each sample as um, we're talking about technical design processes, but I'm just gonna name them um, right now. First a sample is usually proto sample. Second a sample is usually salesman sample or SMS sample. Third one is fit sample. Sometimes it can be skipped depending on the style. Uh, another sample is PP or pre-production sample. And the last one is TOP, which is, stands for top of production sample, or some companies call it shipment sample. And after technical designer sends the initial specs to the factories, he receives a first prototype sample. And usually this sample and all the following samples, uh, actually, they are in size, um, base size uh, of the company that company determines. And it's usually size small. Some companies do size medium. It depends on the demographic. And um, in contemporary clothing, uh, in ready to wear, it's usually size small, which uh, is US 4 to 6. And that uh, prototype sample is put on a live fit model. The fit model body frame and measurements depend on the company's um, target customer demographic. For example, if the company uh, produces uh, junior clothing, then the model uh, will, will have straighter and smaller body frame. If the company specializes in misty clothing and the target customer is older, then the model will have curvier body frame and um, bigger measurements. So let's talk about proto-fitting. 
aka prototype fitting. In the industry we call it proto fitting just because it's shorter and in fashion industry you have to be fast. So prototype fitting is usually led by designers and merchandisers because it's the first time when you see the whole line um, in reality, not on the paper anymore. And you check, uh, actually designers and merchandisers, they check if the fabric is appropriate for the, for the garment. Is the colorways, if the colorways are matching. They're checking the aesthetic look of the garment. For example, silhouettes, details, or proportion um, of the garment. They also check if the style is commercial, if it appeals to the target customer, if the style is actually possible to produce. At this point, the uh, samples are not going to have a good fit, and we're not working on the fit right now because designers and merchandisers are working on the design details and the design aesthetic of the garment. And at this point, design changes, a lot of design changes can be made to the uh, line. And usually designers over design the styles with many details. So they check them during the proto fitting. And if some details work and some don't work, they eliminate them. And also designers over design the whole line in the very beginning, like by 40 or 50%, because they know that after the proto fitting, a lot of design, uh, designs will drop from the line. And also after SMS fitting, uh, some of the styles will be dropped as well. On this photo, I wanted to demonstrate how styles evolve from the first proto sample to the last shipment sample that a customer is going to get in the end. If you look at the first proto sample on your left, you will see a couple of details that were eliminated during the editing process. For example, the sleeve opening drawstring uh, was eliminated completely. The body bottom hem was curved on the first photo sample, and in the end, it's completely straight. If you also notice that the colorways and even fabric qualities have changed, you can see that the fit of the proto sample is far from the ideal, and on the last sample, the fit is perfect. And after the proto fitting, we usually request salesman samples. Salesman samples is the samples that go to showrooms and to sales representatives to be shown during the fashion week or market week, and uh, they are sold at wholesale price. Usually salesman samples are ordered in, in a base size, uh, like size small or medium, and they're offered in different colorways. So the customer has a multiple uh, colors to choose from. And some samples that are not bought during the, uh, that market week, uh, they get dropped from the line completely. And after the uh, wholesale uh, orders are placed, the line is preparing and going to production phase. During the production phase, the company and the factories are getting ready to produce the style. And we'll talk about that phase uh, later in my second video. Please stay tuned because I'm going to talk more about fitting and how to evaluate a garment for fit and balance. And um, I will see you soon.